This JCB backhoe loader behind me is fitted with the latest electro-hydraulic controls. They are so smooth and so beautiful to use and it comes with a host of new features. Let me show you what they are. So inside the cab of this machine, everything is exactly the same. The joysticks are the same. You wouldn't really notice the difference. But one of the first features that we have access to now is latched override. So I know that I'm able to control the excavator end of this machine by flicking this button onto the rear. And previously I would have to press and hold this button to operate the back. Now, by pressing the button on the back of my left joystick and the front of my right joystick, I can latch the excavator controls up. And that means that I can use this back end without having to hold my thumb down on that switch constantly. Which, yeah, it's really fantastic if I was doing ditching. The other change is that that beep that you can hear is a much softer tone. It beeps intermittently rather than consistently beeping. And I'd be able to drive along and operate this machine, whether doing some ditch work or working on highways in a single carriageway. Really, really useful to be able to latch those controls on. I'm still facing this way. And then to switch that off, I simply press the button on the back again, and we're back to normal controls. The next feature available with these new controls is quick reposition. This allows me to really quickly lift up my front shovel to be able to reposition the machine when excavating. I simply press and hold the button on the back of this left joystick and operate my roller switch. The auxiliary roller now can control that front loader, so I can lift it up and move myself back. Back to digging. These electro hydraulic controls are so smooth and so comfortable and just lighter ever so slightly but still with a really nice amount of feel in them. I just find that in this machine I can just pull in a fantastic grade every time. Now I'm not on these machines every day. I'm more of a demonstrator which means I show people what the buttons do and how to make it work. But in this machine I just feel like I'm able to like take my operating to another level. So smooth, so light and just so quick. Just an absolute pleasure. So next up we have eco mode. Now typically I've thought eco modes were just run at a lower RPM and save some fuel. That is not the case with this machine. This eco mode, when activated, runs the machine at a lower RPM but there is a new pump in this machine which pumps the hydraulic flow to the part of the machine where we need it in this excavator end. And what that means is that I'm able to get equivalent performance of a higher RPM whilst working the machine in a lower RPM. So the noise is lower, but the performance and the output is the same. And that ultimately means that it saves fuel. So I can set this machine now, bring the machine here at like 1300 RPM, but I can operate this and it feels similar to what I'd usually be running at at about 1500, 1600 RPM. really nice to have it operating quieter as well and just easier for communicating to people on the ground as well. But there is a switch in the cab to be able to turn off the eco mode. If you really want some power, you can still work the machine up at the higher power for whatever you might need to if you're doing some really bulk work. Also got here the ability to now change between ISO pattern or SAE. And that's just in the menu here. And finally, we have Debog. This is a servo machine where you can operate the loader end and the excavator end at the same time, allowing you to debog yourself if the machine was to get stuck. So the way we activate this is we press the button on the back of this left joystick. Whilst holding that down, I press the button on the front of my right joystick. Now debug mode is activated. So that means now that my excavator end still works as normal with the joysticks here. And my loader end is now controlled on these two thumb rollers. So my left thumb controls up and down on the loader arm. 
and my right thumb controls crowd and dump. So what I'm now able to do is lift myself up with that end of the machine, lift myself up with the excavator end of the machine, and if I was stuck in a boggy situation, I've lifted myself up out, and whilst I roll forward with my front shovel, I can push away with my excavator end, and walk my way out of a boggy situation. If I needed to go again, I could reset, that out again. Lift myself up. Lift myself up. Roll and push. Off we go for a walk. And what is fantastic that all of these new features have got a little video in the screen down here. I can just go into the machines and up it pops. It's gonna show me how I use each of these features, what the benefits are and how I make sure they're all working okay. So if I ever forget what I need to be doing, I can just look back at the screen. Press that little information button, go to features, you've got fast reposition, the changeover, how to eco mode, how to debug, how to use the latched excavator all of them along with loads of other videos all in there so if you're ever unsure you've just got to go into the watch the video and refresh yourself on how to do it that is an absolutely fantastic machine and it's a pleasure to operate <laughs>